So tell me, who are you? So my name is Andrew Rosichuk, and I am the owner of Rosie Farms. So it's a Hascap orchard. Um, it's kind of cool because I'm the first grower in Alberta. Um, I've been growing uh, since 2005. It was I came out of uh, Olds College, and my auntie and uncle who own the kind of I guess family farm. Uh, it's the, actually the farm that my dad grew up on. They just asked me, "Hey, we've got an extra two acres of land. Do you want to plant it?" And so I'm born and raised in the city. I'm from Edmonton. And so I'm like, sure, let's plant something. I'm out of school, I gotta do something with my education. And so I just looked through a seed catalog and I planted uh, sour cherries, I planted currants, and I planted hascaps. The cherries are still only like two feet tall, even though it's 2005, uh, because the deer love them. Uh, the currants, the bugs have eaten them to bits. You, can't, you don't get any currants off of them. And the hascaps I fell in love with. The whole reason for getting into the trades was to fundraise money for starting my own farm. Because being a first generation farmer is, it's expensive. <laughs> I understand why people don't do it, uh, but it's just, it's beautiful because I just love working with the land. Uh, so tell me, what is what is a hascap? So a hascap berry, the ones that I grow, are, uh, the original plants are from Russia and Japan, um, and they actually came over to Canada in 1999, where the University of Saskatchewan now has the world's largest breeding program. So they're really trying to make it a prairie berry. And so it's been amazing since 2005 to where we are now, in 2022 to see how the evolution of uh, the breeding work has gone from something that is a little blue dot that tastes kind of sour with this crazy little bit of sweet uh, and this like hidden flavor to now you have a berry that's like five times the size, super healthy for you, uh, super tasty. And what do they taste like? So uh, I have six different ones growing on my farm and they kind of range between like a raspberry kind of blueberry mix with a really strong and nice tang to it. Just the flavor is just unbelievable. The color is like, if you put has caps in anything, you know it's has caps.